Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss greedy best first search algorithm in artificial intelligence with the help of simple solved example. This is the solved example number one. Link for other example is given in the description below. Greedy best first search algorithm tries to expand the node that is closest to the goal node. Hence, uh, it evaluates the node by using the heuristic function. That is, uh, f of n is always equal to h of n where h of n is the estimated cost from the state at node n to the goal state. So, we will understand each of these points with the help of a simple example here. Let us assume that we have been given this graph where a is the initial state or the start state and g is the goal state here. And the values written on the top of each node is nothing but the heuristic value or the estimated cost from a given node to the goal node in this case. Here, uh, the 40 indicates that the estimated cost from node A to the goal state G here. Similarly, this 35 indicates the estimated cost from the node D to the goal node G in this case. Similarly, all the heuristic values or the estimated values are written on the top of uh, the each node here. Now, in this case, uh, we need to apply greedy best first search algorithm for this particular graph and then we need to find a path from the start state A to the goal state G in this case. Now, to do that, uh, we will consider the initial state. The initial state is A here. First, we will check whether A is the goal state or not. Now, in this case, A is not a goal state. So, what we do is we will expand A with the possible actions here. So, in this case, uh, there are three possible actions are there. We can go towards B that is A to B or A to C or A to D. These are the three possible actions we can perform. Now, among these three actions, we need to select one action which is more closer to the goal node in this case. So, for that reason, what we do is we will calculate the value of f of n. f of n is equal to h of n in this case. As said earlier, h of n is the estimated cost from the current state that is node n to the goal state here. Now, uh, we need to calculate the three values that is f of b, f of c and f of d here f of b is equal to h of b which is equal to 32 in this case. Similarly, f of d is equal to h of d which is equal to 35 and f of c is equal to h of c which is equal to 25 here. Now, once you calculate all these three values, we need to select one among these three. Among these three, f of c is having the minimum value. So, what we do is we will select a node c because it is more closer to the goal node in this case. Now, once you select uh, this uh, node C, from C, we need to find the path uh, so that we can reach this uh, goal node. Now, from C, there are two possible uh, actions we can perform that is uh, C to F and uh, C to E here. Now, uh, we need to calculate the F values for these two uh, nodes here. That is F of F is equal to H of F, which is equal to 17 here. Now, uh, for E, F of E is equal to H of E which is equal to 19 in this case. Now, between these two things, again, uh, 17 is minimum. The meaning of this one is the next node, which is more closer to goal node is F in this case. So, we will select an action from C to F in this case. Now, once you select an action from C to F, so from F, we need to find the path uh, which will lead us to the goal node in this case. Now, again, uh, from F, there are two possible uh, paths are there towards uh, D and another one is uh, towards G here. So, we need to calculate the f values for d and g. f of d is equal to h of d, which is equal to 35 here. And f of g is equal to h of g, which is equal to 0 in this case. Now, uh, between these two, that is f of g and f of d, f of g has the minimum value. So, we will select the path from f to g in this case. Now, uh, we need to expand g. But before we expand g, we need to see whether g is the goal node or not. In this case, g is the goal node. So, we will stop here. Now, what is the final path from start state to goal state here? A to C, C to F and F to G in this case. So, that is what I have written in this case. So, this is how the greedy best for search algorithm works in artificial intelligence. Uh, in this case, we will select the a node based on the estimated cost from that node to the goal node, which indicates that the node is more closer to the goal node in this case. I hope the concept of a greedy best for search algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.